So today we're going to talk about content presentation in the poker rubric and in particular points A4, navigation, and content flow. Navigation is crucial in an online course because it can be difficult and confusing for students. And as teachers, we need to keep finding ways to make our course clearer so learners can find materials and assignments and due dates and even support quickly and easily. In a normal classroom, a student can walk up to a teacher and ask for support or clarification, but in an online class, they just can't. So how can we help them find what they need quickly and easily? To align with the rubric, navigation and content flow must be easily determined and to exceed the rubric, you should include clearly labeled tutorial materials explaining Canvas navigation. Your reviewer specifically will check, does the homepage provide basic information about the course or does it provide a welcome to the course? Are there clear directions about what a student should do first or does a student have to guess? If you knew nothing about online courses or Canvas, where does the home page guide you to start? And how many clicks before you get to useful information that tells you what you need to do in week one? So here's an example of a welcome page for one of my classes. And you can see that I name the class, so there's no question about where the student is or what they're looking at. Um, I tell them what they can expect this week and include due dates about when their first assignment is due. Um, and there's just one button that students need to click to get started with the course. There's no question about it. They don't have to worry if they're doing anything right. When they're ready to get started, they can just press the button that says, I'm ready to get started. And when they get to that module and the introductory module, I also include a page with instructions about how to use Canvas. And it explains how to navigate Canvas, beginning with modules, how you can use quizzes and discussions and assignments to zero in things. Um, there's uh, some, some uh, links where they can download um, Chrome or Firefox where they can use uh, Canvas through Google Play, and of course, where they can access the Canvas Help Center. I also include how to get help and tech support, a whole page about where they can find technical support and tutoring support and where the distance learning office is and how they can get a hold of them and all that stuff. So as you can see, I'm providing a welcome page it takes one click to get started in the class, and I also have a tutorial that takes them through how to use Canvas and how to get tech support in their first days or week of class. Here's an example of a different welcome page, just as effective and just as exemplary as the one I just showed you. Uh, once again, we have a course overview. Um, and instructions about familiarizing yourself with Canvas. There's one stop, click to get started. And there's these great quick links in case the student wants to use them where there's orientation and the syllabus and the student information hub and a teacher biography. So once again, on the welcome page, there's no having to hunt around or guess where to get started, you can see right away, there's the modules, and oh, if you wanna check something else out, you can look here. Reviewers are also check your course to find out, do modules follow a similar pattern? If a student were starting from the modules page, are the modules well named? And can someone navigate using the module page as a sort of index or table of contents? So here you can see uh, part of my modules page and I've done some things to make it easy to navigate. I've numbered my modules so the students know what order they come in. And I always include 
the date range that the module is supposed to encompass. So they know how long the module is supposed to take them to complete and what the due dates are. And then you can see everything proceeds in a logical manner with uh, information and then assignments that relate to the information and then more information and assignments that relate to the information. This pattern continues through all the other modules. They're all numbered. They all have due dates. And students should easily be able to find where they need to be, what the prerequisites are, and when things are due. Reviewers will also check if once in a module do the pieces fit together. And as you move from one item to the next, using the Canvas Next button, does the chronology of the module make sense? So in other words, are you uh, presenting information before you uh, uh, do an assessment on the information? Are you, are you labeling whether something is content? Are you telling the students that they need to read something before they take a test on it? And the rest of that. So that there's, once again, all the guesswork is taken out of it. They can, the students will know right away what they need to do so they can get started. When it comes to Canvas and distance learning, what you need to provide for your students is something easy to understand. If it's easy for them to understand, they can focus on learning and feel confident instead of getting confused and frightened by disorganized material. So when we're talking about A4 in the POCA rubric, we're just asking how easy are you making it for your students to navigate your class? And the answer is, you should make it as easy and as clear as possible.